Syria's civil war has been raging for more than two years now without an end in sight. And the U.N. says the death toll has risen to more than 120,000. Becky Anderson looks back at the past year of the conflict. 2013 saw Syria reach more staggering deaths. In August, the world awoke to shocking eyewitness videos and reports of a devastating chemical attack on the outskirts of Damascus. Eyewitness videos like these ramped up international pressure. Any use of chemical weapons anywhere by anybody under any circumstances would violate international law. UN weapons inspectors later found, quote, overwhelming and indisputable evidence that the nerve gas, sarin, was used on a large scale. But the report did not determine who committed the attack. The U.S. announced that its own intelligence showed with high confidence that the chemical weapons were launched by the Assad regime, fueling a push for military intervention with or without a U.N. resolution. Our military has positioned assets in the region. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs has informed me that we are prepared to strike whenever we choose. We're finished. But before the U.S. took action, a breakthrough as Russia brokered a deal in which Syria agreed to have its chemical weapons dismantled. Also in 2013, the UN says the documented death toll reached more than 125,000 people since the conflict began more than two and a half years ago. Another devastating milestone this year. The UN reports that more than two million Syrians are refugees fleeing their war-ravaged country. Neighboring countries like Lebanon, Jordan, Iraq and Egypt struggling to support the influx of refugees. The largest camp is in Jordan. Zatari refugee camp is now Jordan's fourth largest city. Children have been particularly affected. More than a million are now homeless. That's half the Syrian refugee population. One million children is more than the number of children living, living in Los Angeles and Boston combined. Can you imagine Boston and Los Angeles without children? The UN reports 75% of those Syrian refugee children are under the age of 12, the majority traumatized from the horrors of war. And we've never seen children targeted in this way by all sides of the conflict. It's really quite unique to Syria. The scars are going to be incredibly deep and intergenerational. It's not just these children, it's when they have children, it will go on and on and be intergenerational. While the world watches, what will 2014 hold for Syria? Peace talks are scheduled to take place in January in Geneva. The Syrian government and an unknown number of opposition groups will meet at a conference meant to broker an end to the civil war. There is so much more to lose, so many lives at stake. The United Nations predicts that without a resolution, the escalating war will force almost a quarter of all Syrians to flee their country by this time next year.